Kochi Metro Rail Limited uh, went in for a metro, like other smaller Indian cities, not just for ease of transportation in the city area itself, but for a number of other benefits that metros bring into Indian cities in terms of investment, in terms of safety, in terms of visibility also. Kochi was one of the first uh, tier two Indian cities to go for a metro. A number of unique new features. Because we are one of the last metros to be built in India, we wanted it to be much more modern than anything else that the country has ever seen. So we opted for a number of new features like communication-based train control, CBTC, where the entire uh, system is controlled by computers, thus reducing the chance of human error. The Kochi Metro coach built by Alstom has got a number of new features which are not seen in other, other Indian cities, like six uh, LCD screens per coach, also the fact that this is what is called UTO compatible, which means these train sets can be retrofitted to run without uh, human intervention at some time in future. Also, we've taken a lot of pay pains over the coloration, the scheme to enhance consumer delight. We're also planning to make the journey meaningful in terms of uh, making, enabling people to do wireless uh, net browsing in that half an hour that he or she spends on the metro system. So these are all new features that other Indian cities have not seen which the Kochi Metro coach will have. The city of Kochi and its inhabitants have been waiting for the Kochi Metro coach for a very long time. And one of the great triumphs of Kochi Metro has been the fact that we've got this first coach delivered in a world record beating time of about 10 to 11 months time. Since the coach represents the the coach has come to represent a number of things to people of Kochi, you know, better future for their children, better city for the future, better form of transport, etc. And uh, those of you who have seen the coach in the, on the day of the trials have seen the amount of excitement that the arrival of the coach has generated in the people of Kochi is something really amazing to see. We have only reached the first set of challenges now in terms of the fact that the trains have run in the depot. The civil work is nearly 70% over. The next challenge is to do the actual trials on the viaduct, which we are planning in about a month's time. We are also planning to do what is called revenue operation, that is carry passengers on the metro on a commercial basis. And also we want the Kochi Metro to uh, be an enabler for making public transport the dominant form of movement of people in the city. So we are going to have an act called UMTA, the Unified Metropolitan Transportation Authority Act. Once that act comes, we'll have a single ticketing, a single network and a single uh, con command and control for all forms of urban transport so that you can seamlessly move from the metro into the bus or into the boat and so on. And this is a very great challenge because other Indian cities have not really succeeded in cracking this to make public transport seamless, convenient and comfortable for all. That is the greatest challenge in my mind for Kochi Metro. <laughs>